Mayor Brenda Locke and her Surrey Connect slate made use of their council majority last night, voting to retain the RCMP by a margin of 5-4. to four. Last night's vote also directed staff to send a letter to the Surrey Police Board telling it to pause any new hiring and spending. Surrey Councillor Doug Elford opposed the motion. He says it's, quote, a colossal waste of time and money. I have many, many reasons why um, I think uh, a Surrey, a municipal police force is to benefit the people of Surrey. I, I think it just provides a better connection with the community and I, I think it's the, be- the right direction to go in. Alfred hopes the province carefully considers the consequences and says he's worried the RCMP doesn't have enough staff to serve the city. I think it's going to be quite difficult uh, for the new mayor to actually put the brakes on this. This former police chief says policing in Surrey has become highly politicized and the BC government should be watching closely. He says any plan that's put forward will have to meet provincial standards. I think it really has to be thought out in a more of a methodical way to see what's best, not only for Surrey, but for the region in Metro Vancouver. BC's public safety minister says both the city of Surrey and the Mounties need to present a detailed plan. We've got 300 plus people who came in good faith. How are you going to deal with them? Uh, how are you going to restaff? That's what the RCMP have to provide a plan on to how that would take place. There's capital assets. Uh, there's a lot of work. Uh, it took a long time to get to the point where we are now. And a transition is not, you know, like flicking a, a switch on and off. Farnworth says the Surrey Police Service can continue its mandate until the province tells it otherwise. The cost of returning to the RCMP would have to be covered by the city. He says Surrey's proposal will be made public and he's expecting it by the end of the month. Josh Grant, CBC News, Vancouver.